too, right? It's a square. But uh, when we undo it or unfold it, it comes down into a, into a triangle, right? And it has extra arms so we can do splinting and things like that. But for this, I'm gonna just fold it up about two inches, a little bit more like a belt size. So I have it ready. So now he's sitting there. Anytime I'm gonna use a tourniquet, I always wanna go, especially when I'm making it, above the elbow or above the knee. Here, I'm trying to push the bones to the artery, and sometimes you can't get the squeeze right. If I go up here, I'm just squeezing the artery right against the bone. So I apply my tourniquet. There's two parts to the tourniquet. The first part is the, the tightening part. So that will help do a little bit. The next is the twist. So in the kit, one of the things we have in here we can use are just the trauma shears or the scissors. I can tie them right into the kit or into the tourniquet. And as I tie that into there, I now get my twist. So I'm giving my twist uh -huh. until the bleeding stops. Once the bleeding stops, I need to hold that in place. I can wrap around and tie it off. 